find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to today. I'm going to be showing you a very simple but very useful lighting setup and I'm going to be using the big uh, reflector, the big seven-sided reflector from Pixapro. But of course you could use something else if you're really on a budget. Of course you could use like a, like a white sheet or something and, uh, and still have the same lighting setup. But this is something that you could very, very quickly and easily take to a location or, you know, set up uh, maybe in the studio very quickly or, you know, whatever the needs might be or the reason for actually doing it this way. So basically what we have is we have one light. This is the Pixapro light. This isn't a very cheap light, but it is a very good one. Uh, so uh, this is the one that I'm using, but you could use almost any light, just a light. And uh, ideally you do want a soft light, but it doesn't have to be. It depends on how um, diffused your material is. So let's show the material. This is what I'm going to be using. It's a big diffusion panel. This in the film industry is called a scrim. And then in the photography industry is called a shoot through reflector. And so basically it's cloth. So, you know, on a budget, just get some cloth or, you know, if you have a little bit more to spend and you want something that opens up really quickly and that looks more professional and that works more professionally, then something like this is an option. This one is uh, the one that I got, which actually has seven sides. So uh, I won't go into all of this now. I will post a, a review about this, but basically it comes with uh, a bunch of different covers, which uh, include uh, green screen, blue screen, black for blocking light, silver for a harsher reflection, and where's the white gone? White for a more diffused reflection than gold for a warm reflection. So uh, very, very useful. And then of course the, uh, the shoot through. So really useful, really high quality piece again. Uh, there'll be a link down below to the full review once that is uh, up, once that's online. And uh, okay, so let's take a look at the sliding setup. We've got this big thing. And of course this is, uh, this is one of the biggest ones you can get. I'm not sure if you can get bigger. Probably you can, but uh, this one is about two meters by one and a half. And so this is a great size to uh, do something like this with. So I've just put it on a stand. And of course, you know, you could tie it. You could uh, figure out some other way. You could just put like place it on a chair or something. But ideally you want it somewhere where you don't have something very close to it. Because obviously if we had uh, a stand right behind it, then it's gonna, you know, create a shadow here. So I've just got a stand with a little friction arm extending uh, this a little bit forward from the stand. And then, uh, and then that's it. So obviously I would be a little more zoomed in uh, to actually um, make this uh, fit on the screen. So, you know, cropping the corners. Or of course, you know, I could crop it in post uh, if needed, but basically it is a very, very simple and very quick white background. And then uh, that's the only light I have turned on right now. So of course I could turn another light on to, you know, if I wanted to add more light onto me, but I just wanted to show you the background lighting setup. And by the way, if you do want to turn another light on as a very simple lighting setup, if you want to keep it, you know, simple and compact, add another soft light about here, just, you know, to, to give a nice light onto the subject. And then just play around with the ratio, like how strong this one is, compared to the backlight, and the backlight's gonna to wanna to be a lot stronger. So uh, so here it is, and uh, with regards to camera settings, you basically just wanna make sure that it's bright enough. And uh, so you don't wanna have the camera on auto, set it to manual, and then just increase the exposure as needed. Specifically for this one, I have the Pixar Pro turned all the way down. Uh, I could turn it up if needed, but for now, I've just, just got it turned all the way down, and then I have the camera set to something like uh, 1 30th of a second, ISO 100 and F4. But, uh, you know, if I wanted to, I could make the, the light much brighter, but uh, for now, uh, I, I don't really need to. So, um, so yeah, this is a very nice background. Doing something like this allows you to get very, very close to your background without having any shadows because the light isn't coming from here, it's coming from the back, so you don't have any shadows. And uh, so this is something that works very well for very small areas or, uh, well, there's lots of different places where this can be useful and when, you know, when you don't want any shadows on the background. And so of course, sometimes it is needed to maybe put a big piece of paper if you want the light to go uh, like a white background that goes all the way under someone's feet. 
but for something simple and quick, this is really lovely, very similar to the table that I shoot on, the glass table, which I've posted a video about before. And so this is something I really like. And by the way, you can do this with paper too, but then paper usually takes more light to actually get the light to show through the paper. Of course, it depends what kind of paper it is. But basically, I really like this, and I hope you guys have found this video helpful. You can find links down below as usual. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!